Here is what you missed this morning on the Catholic Morning Show. Ut Fidem, from a Latin phrase meaning keep the faith, strives to develop high school students into intentional disciples who will keep the faith for the rest of their lives and especially through college. Ut Fidem does this by supporting students and forming deep personal relationships with Christ through small group ministry and faith mentoring. Good morning to my guests in studio, Clayton or Chloe and Peyton. I, I combined your names. <laughs> so it's kind of like Benifer or uh, I, I once was marrying a young couple it was a nephew and his wife. Uh, they were his names were Jasmine and, 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 and Devin. And I referred to them as Desmond in, the, in, in my homily. So yeah, that was very important. Clayton is what I, what I tried to combine your names as. But good morning and welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks uh, for having us. Yes. Well, uh, it didn't sound like you were given much of a choice. It sounds like you were told you, to show up here this morning and talk about Utfidum. <laughs> Is that right? I yeah. guess you could say that. Yes. <laughs> I did say it. So, anyway, we're glad to have you in because uh, Utfidum has been very impactful, not only at Dallin Catholic High School, but we've, we've seen the, uh, the benefit of it as students have moved on into college. And you two are recent graduates from Dallin Catholic High School. That's right. Yes. Mm-hmm. And you're going off to college where first we'll start with uh, with you, Chloe. Where are you headed off to? I'm going to Iowa State. And Peyton, where are you? I'm going to the University of Kansas. Okay. And so first tell me, uh, Chloe, let's start with you. When when did uh, Oot Feedem first come onto your radar? Or did you first learn about it? I heard about it, I would say, sophomore year. Our freshman year was COVID, so it was a little... Weird. Yeah, we didn't really. A lot weird. Yeah, there's a lot going on. So sophomore year, I heard about it, and then I joined at the beginning of junior year. Okay, and was that uh, invitation, or how did you who, how did you hear about it? Yeah, one of my, Kirby came in and talked to our classes, so that kind of got it on my radar, and then one of my friends and I was like, we should start a group. So me and then two other friends started a group. And why? What was what, what did she say that uh, s- sparked this inspiration or this motivation to do it? It was sort of just like, why wasn't I doing it? I wanted to grow in my faith, and it seemed like a great way to do it. And it was just something that I don't know why I didn't start earlier. And, and what, uh, what's, what, did, how did she present it that uh, intrigued you? What, what, what aspect of it, you know, made you ask that question? Why haven't I done this sooner? It was just the result of other students seeing them grow in their faith. They're the same age as me. So if they could do it, why couldn't I? Exactly. Let's, uh, that, and Peyton said kind of the same questions there for you. When did you learn for, first learn about it and, and why did you get involved? Yeah, my experience was very similar to Chloe's. I remember at like towards the end of sophomore year, a senior at the time came in and talked to our class about how much he liked it. And the thing, quite honestly, the thing that drew me in was he said, it's kind of just like you're with your friends and you can go over what's going on in your life and then learn how to apply God to those situations. And so I was like, kind of the same as Chloe. I was like, why wasn't I doing this sooner? It just seems like a fun thing to be part of what what was it about the the older students that you saw who had been a part of Ufid and what was it about them that that you wanted or it was it you were attracted to well I just think you would like I feel like most upperclassmen are in an Ufid group and mm-hmm. so I was like if all of these older people that I'm kind of looking up to are doing it then I probably should be doing it too because it must be something good <laughs> must be something good. that's uh you know if, if everybody's jumping off the bridge are you doing that too that that's sort of uh, <laughs> i don't know <laughs> maybe. no this is this is this is all great what and so what has been uh, so your sophomore year did you join right away or how long did it take chloe to get to get involved i joined at the beginning of junior year okay so you had two years experience and, and talk about what that was like I think it definitely gave me an environment to ask questions. I think with anything in life, if we don't ask questions, then we're more likely to lose interest in something. So when I was able to go to it, it, we met every week and go and ask questions and just be comfortable and confident asking questions. Then it gave me a platform to learn more about my faith and just become more interested all around. Well, what I'm, I'm glad about having the two of you in here, because you're not in the same group. So, so again, we're going to same questions, but maybe slightly different experiences or same. What was, what was the, maybe in the, you're asking questions, uh, Peyton, what, what was the thing that you most, I don't know, remember being revealed to you or what was an aha moment, if you will? Um, I think Ut was really big for me to realize that I can, that other people can be on my faith journey with me. I don't have to do it all by myself. So like before I was kind of just like going to mass every Sunday and like that was about it. And then once I joined at Feedem, it was like I had this community of people that we could all like help each other grow and guide each other on our journeys towards Christ. So what, uh, so you guys are off to college now. How do you guys maintain this, uh, this bond that you've formed over the last two years being a, a part of an Oop Feedem group? 
Well, so my group has been meeting. We had just had our last meeting this past week. Mm-hmm. So we went like past our senior year. And then the thing I really liked about it was towards the end of the school year, we were doing it, this thing where each of us were leading a meeting instead of our leader leading the meeting. And so it helped us like be prepared if we were to ever like lead a Bible study in college or anything like that. And that's what I really liked about it because I felt like I was kind of like graduating from Utfidum from being part of this group and then moving on to bigger things in college. And, and Chloe, do you, do you feel prepared now to, uh, to to lead a Bible study group if that opportunity presents itself at, in college? Yes, I would definitely say so. For the past couple of months of Utfidum, we made a list of a bunch of topics we were curious about or wanted to talk more about. And then our leader dove into them and explained them. And I think that's really provided me for next year. I'll be able to go off and like face those difficult topics. Well, this is an important conversation because uh, school starts back up here in another month or so. Uh, there's going to be, uh, you know, kids that are embarking on high school for the first time, incoming freshmen. Uh, are, are there there's still some kids or some, some students out there lingering, the sophomore, junior uh, students who maybe have not joined a group? Uh, if, if your child or, or your grandchild is one of those students, uh, I would say continue to encourage them to consider this. And what, what's your let's start with Peyton. Let's go with your. What's your elevator speech to somebody who's on the fence about whether or not they should uh, join an Utfidum group? Um, I think that Utfidum, it draws people together. So I joined my group with like two people that I was pretty good friends with and then like three people that I didn't know very well. And it, it kind of formed this bond between us, including the people that I didn't know very well to begin with. And so I came out of it with friends and then also just like new sisters in Christ that I could like lean on and we could just ask each other questions like Chloe said earlier. And also my leader, she's been super great. And she even said she was going to like keep up with us, like going into college and text us every once in a while. So I just think it forms these really great, this great community that you can't really find a whole lot when you're in high school. Beautiful. Chloe, anything to add to that? I definitely agree with the community part. And I would just say it takes your faith into a deeper level. And now when I go to mass, I'm not going through the motions every time. I'm more so paying attention and enjoying every minute of it. Well, a, a personal relation or personal encounter with Christ is important. You guys speak to a very significant aspect of our faith and that it's not, it's not a, we don't walk alone, right? Jesus sent the disciples out two by two, right? And so we're meant to be in community. He, he brought 12 disciples together. Thank you for coming on and sharing the experience. Best of luck to both of you in, in college. And uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of what's left of uh, summer. All right. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Oot Feedum uh, program. You can learn more about it at the Dallin Catholic High School website. I know they have expanded to other areas around the nation, this great high school program. Listen to the Catholic Morning Show weekday mornings at 7 on the Iowa Catholic Radio Network, iowacatholicradio.com, or the Iowa Catholic Radio app.